Hello, this is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the course syllabus shortcode in order to put a course syllabus from any of your Lifter LMS courses anywhere you want on your WordPress website. So to start out, we'll go to the WP admin, and I'm going to add it to a page just as an example. So I'm going to go to pages, add new, and you can put this on a blog post, a membership, a different course inside of a lesson. Wherever you can put that short code, you can display the, uh, the syllabus. So we'll give this page a title. We will add a block here in the Gutenberg editor. We'll do short code, add that in. And now we need to paste the short code. So to find the short code, you can go to lifterlms.com forward slash docs forward slash short codes. And I should have a link down in the description to this. So what we can do is find this course syllabus here. And what we need is right here. This short code in brackets, we can copy it from here and paste it into our website. All right, there we go. And it should be good to go to display this course syllabus. Now, the one thing missing is the course ID. So that's going to say, you know, which course in the website are we displaying the syllabus for? So to find that, I'm going to open up courses in a new tab here. Then I'm going to use this course as an example. And in order to find the course ID, we need to look at the top link here. So you can see mysite.com forward slash WP admin forward slash post blah, blah, blah. The post equals one, two, six. So that's the post ID for this. So I'm going to want to copy that one, two, six. And then instead of one, two, three, I'm going to paste in the one, two, six. It was actually pretty close, but that's all we'll need. And now this page should display the course syllabus for this, uh, this investing course I have here. All right. So we're going to publish that and then view the page and we should see the syllabus show up. There we go. So you can put this syllabus anywhere you want with the short code. And that's pretty much it for this video. Um, feel free to leave any questions you have down in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. And thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.